Going back to class this morning at North Lake College in Irving. This is the first time since that murder suicide last week. And Sowell is there live with more. Yeah, and a vigil is set for tonight at Irving High School, but the North Lake College out also announcing that uh, they will also hold a uh, vigil here on Thursday night by this memorial in front of the library. Now, this announcement comes after the president of the college and Janira Gonzalez's instructors met with her family over the weekend. The 20 year old student was a few weeks shy of getting her associate's degree here. She was gunned down last week by 21 year old Adrian Torres. Police say that he shot her and then turned the gun on himself. Her family believes that Torres was stalking her. But why he took it to that level is still a mystery. The college campus shut down for two days after the murder suicide. And today is the first day back for thousands of students who now have to focus on finals week on top of everything else. But they'll have the support of counselors from other college campuses as well as therapy dogs. Our greatest hope is that students have had some time to, to process, talk to people that can give them comfort and reassurance. They've been hearing from their faculty via email. So we're hoping they can come, focus on their exams, and, and then and seek comfort and conversation with our counselors if they, if they would like to here in the library today. And we're already starting to see some students arrive. Classes begin, some of them classes begin, uh, those classes begin at 8, 8.30. Extra police officers also on hand here on campus. The family is still waiting to set up a meeting with Irving Police. They still, they say, have a lot of questions to ask. Uh, tonight's vigil is at 7 p.m. again at Irving High School from where uh, Janira graduated. The one here on campus again on Thursday at 7.30. Reporting live in Irving, Saul Garza for Good Day.